everyone and welcome. My name is Dr. Heather Carden. I am one of your coaches here along with Coach Rob DeBoer, Co Coach Dustin Schaefer. I just want to give a big warm welcome. Every time I turn my phone on, I see tons, dozens, hundreds of notifications about people joining the reboot. So I just thought I'd take a moment this afternoon and just welcome everyone to the Keto Reboot. I love that we're almost at 28,000 people in less than 60 days. This doubled in less than 60 days. So I just want to just pop on here and share a few things about best practices as we build into our April 15th Keto Reboot. Know that you have exactly about less than 30 hours why the Keto Reboots are still on sale. So yes, less than 30 hours. Start the countdown, 11.59 Central Standard Time, April 5th. And then we are just 11 days out from actually starting our reboot. So hello and welcome to everyone. This will be super brief. Just want to again, jump on some good practices. Number one, make sure you have your keto reboot uh, kit purchased and know that when, you know, when they sold out, they sold out the last two months. So maybe grab a couple extra for a few friends that maybe decide yes next week or yes, maybe tomorrow. And then, you know, maybe it could be too late. So I would absolutely purchase some extra ones. I think we can order up to five. Someone can correct me, but five reboot kits you can order. So one for yourself, your family members, and then make sure that the, each person that is on this Facebook page or has a reboot kit is actually on this Facebook page because all the coaching and the support actually comes through this page. So if person hasn't bought in the reboot kit they don't need to be on this page just people who are actually purchasing and participating in the reboot or past reboots also make sure that you read the disclaimer full disclaimer I know we all get super excited we've got our kit ordered we've joined the Facebook group read the disclaimer and go through the disclaimer because it really answers a whole bunch of questions that people generally have if you are not brand new to the keto reboot welcome back again super excited to have you here and then let's talk about our keto quest best practices so we've got about eight keto quest best practices so as we lead into the reboot in less than 11 days I have found that it's super important to actually have those best practices now the reboot um, comes with drinking two keto max is a day so I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and get that keto baseline up let's start your body getting used and adapting to having two ketone servings a day and then let's just block the sugar let's just keep it out there's no point in letting it back in we know we're gonna rebooting in about 11 days also start optimizing your plate keep that garbage out don't let it sneak back on in between reboots pick something you know that really is maybe your number one struggle but is the easiest to correct there's alpha has some great movements that are less than eight minutes so you can get moving and get your body in that keto movement phase in less than eight minutes Maybe you know that water's your deficiency. Let's get that water in your body now. It's never too late. There's time left in today. So you can actually start drinking water today. Again, get moving and then get your timing done right. We talk a lot about intermittent fasting and absolutely everybody on here is intermittent fasting. What that means is it's a time of period during the day which you don't eat. So that's generally when we're sleeping, but we'd like to have that optimized a little bit more. So maybe if you're eating in a 10 hour window now, you have breakfast at eight and you eat dinner at six, that would be a 10 hour window at a.m. and p.m. Maybe try doing a nine hour window or an eight hour window. It just really helps get your body in the groove of what the reboot's gonna do. And then when you come out of the reboot, just really help optimize your body. So get that timing down. Then we're gonna ask you to actually ditch the dairy. What, what does that mean? That means stop with the ice cream, stop with the cheese. It's actually known to be a top allergen and inflammatory food, really to optimize your reboot. I just say cut it out. We've got 11 days till we get started. So just ditch it and then weed out the wheat. What does that mean? It means weeding out the bread, the pasta, the cakes and cookies and pies. Wheat's found a lot of those. A lot of people have sensitivity to gluten or to wheat. So it seems like it's a right time to just weed that out. You will not be consuming any of wheat or dairy during the reboot. So I I hope you're as excited as I am. I want to see actually a big thumbs up from everybody who's gotten their reboot kit ordered to date. Um, if you're watching this on replay, give me a number two so we know who we've actually reached out to. Again, every time I turn on my phone, I've got lots of notifications, brand new people joining this reboot um, for April. So super, super excited. Welcome to everyone that's here. Again, pop on, read the disclaimers, scroll down and look at the Keto Quest uh, optimization. It's really gonna help your mind and body get set for everything that's about to happen on April 15th. I wanna wish you an amazing day. Let your friends know we are less than 30 hours before the reboot kits become not available for sale this month. You'll have to wait till next month. That's why I always think it's a great idea to add a 
add a couple extra kits. So um, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to coaching with Coach Rob DeBoer and Dustin Schaefer through this April reboot. Super, super excited. We are, again, about 28,000 people, which is double in the last 60 days. So let's try to hit that to 30,000 before, before we go to bed tonight. Let's ask some more friends and family who wants to optimize, who wants to reboot, who wants to be the best version of themselves. So I want to wish you guys a very, very happy Wednesday, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.